Recently, the University of Pikeville announced the construction of the new Sachdeva Research and Entrepreneurship Incubator. The facility is named after Rakesh and Seema Sachdeva, who have contributed greatly to the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine over the last 30 years. The new building will help students and faculty with biomedical and agricultural research. Well, the purpose is to provide a, a location where we can do a lot more research in high-tech agriculture and the intersection of agriculture and medicine. So the research and entrepreneurship incubator will include lab spaces, classroom space, um, a kitchen in there as well as some other uh, research facilities and a greenhouse that will allow us to uh, do research we already have planned as well as uh, some research that we have hopes to do in the future with some collaborators we've been working with. Uh, we also will have several different uh, facilities uh, within the main building where we can have uh, businesses that have ideas come in and start and, and see how it goes and then if those are successful we can uh, expand those into other locations. Appalachian Community Care offers outpatient medication assisted treatment for addiction, counseling, and behavioral play therapy for children, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard, regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, Pikeville, Whitesburg, 606-432-5660. Find them on Facebook. Construction will begin July 2024 and is expected to be completed within two years. This project will aid the growth of the university as a whole. You know, everybody we've spoken to is pretty excited about it. The opportunity that it provides um, like I said, our, our goal really is that kind of overall wellness, which fits in very well with the uh, medical programs we have already on campus and what their mission is. It also, I know as we've talked to collaborators and businesses in the area, they're pretty excited about what it could mean in terms of the growth and the um, kind of the ability to attract businesses into our area who might not be here already. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.